Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. And in this video, we are going to see the sharing options in Canva, how you can share your templates, how you can share your designs within Canva. So let's get started. But before that, if this is the first video you are watching on our channel and you want to see the complete training from scratch, check out the playlist link in the description. So without wasting any time, let's get started with this video. Now let's talk about some sharing options that we have in Canva. Since we are using the educational version, we have two options here. Uh, you can either share it on the particular email IDs or you can send it to your teacher as an assignment. So these are basically the educational versions are mainly assigned for the teaching purpose where the students complete their assignment and send their to their teacher. From here, you cannot send it to any other particular person. But if we check about the share options, right now, you can share this design at people, groups, or teams. You can also share this design to specific email ID. Uh, let's try to send it to an email ID. Okay, it's already shared here. Uh, so let's try another one. So when you share this design, let's see, uh, do we receive any email or it's only uh, accessible in the Canva account after that? So yes, we have received an email as well. You can open it in Canva and you can use this template. Right now I'm logged in with my uh, other account. So it won't show in that account, obviously, but uh, the other person will be able to access this and edit that as well. So I can share my design. You can choose some options here. You can only access or, okay, anyone with this link, it's very useful. If you share it with anyone with this link, you can copy and paste it, this link, uh, sort of like this. If I open the private window, if I paste like this, you can share that link anywhere you want. You can use it on your Facebook page. You can use it on your YouTube videos to download or uh, let's say if you are uh, teaching about some template and you want the people to follow along with this design or see the completed design. So you can share it as a link and anyone with this link can access that design. So if I click on edit design right now, I am on the private browsing that means in cognito window uh, so you need to sign up with any particular email obviously and then you can access or edit that design so that is particularly helpful and you want to share your designs with anyone or uh, not limited to a number of people you can give access to as many people as you want view only link is here where the people can only view your design, but they won't be able to change it or copy it or download it. And reminder, Microsoft Teams, you can use Microsoft Teams to uh, share it with your team. You can share your design on a Google Classroom. You can share it on social media like Instagram, Facebook page directly. So we have a couple of options here. Under more, we have option to send to a uh, phone or share link to watch prototype so you can try all of these things by your own these are pretty uh, nice options which will uh, make your work easier for example you don't need to download the design and then send to the phone you, you can directly try this option but these options are pretty simple you can just play around with them and you will get to know about that so let's try the template link for example if you have created a template and you want to sell it or you want to uh, you know uh, give it to your students to practice and uh, basically template means that they can customize on their own uh, without any restrictions you can uh, just uh, change the content they change the picture and make them make this design their own so template link i'll click on the template link and here this is uh, particularly similar to this is uh, almost similar to the one we have seen uh, before as well but this is a template template means whoever make the changes it will not affect my design 
in the sharing options if we have given anyone with this link can edit if they edit the design will be changed in my profile as well and so is the design will be changed for all of the people so that is not particularly useful to share it with students uh, I've mistakenly said that that uh, you can share this option with the students uh, but obviously if one changes or one distorts all the design then the distorted version will be seen by all so it's beneficial here that you use the template link to share it with your larger audience for example your students your audience or anything like that they have a template link for that uh, which doesn't affect your template it is a separate template created for anyone who want to practice so i hope you got my point so this is how you can use the sharing options and you can try different options on your own and just try it by yourself and i'll see you in the next video